to watch the latest from India Science, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon to get notifications on all the science related videos. Well, do you know how hummingbirds got their name? These birds are named so because they make a humming sound. And when they flap their wings, 40 beats a second, amazing, isn't it? So now, how do the wings generate the pleasing? Hmm, I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time. A show that brings to you the best that science has to offer from exciting developments to futuristic solutions. And this week, we will look at how the hummingbirds hum, the bizarre cosmic jellyfish and detecting DNA from air. And moving on to story number one. They sound pleasing, don't they? Researchers from Stanford University and Eindhoven University of Technology wondered why the hum of these birds is music to the ears. And to find answers, they use 12 high-speed cameras, 6 pressure plates and 2176 microphones to spy over the birds. And their observation showed that hummingbirds are genuinely one of a kind. According to researchers, their wings flap in a U-shaped banner generating a lift during the upstroke and downstroke. And on the other hand, other birds produce a lift during the downstroke, giving rise to a whoosh sound. This is the reason why birds and insects make different sounds. Mosquitoes whine, bees buzz, hummingbirds hum, and larger birds whoosh. The lead author of the study explained. He further added that most birds are relatively quiet because they generate most of the lift only once during the wing beat at the downstroke. Hummingbirds and insects are noisier because they do so twice per wing beat. In the beginning, we mentioned that hummingbirds flap their wings 40 beats a second. At this speed, air pressure differences between the top side and the underside of the wings cause hummingbirds humming sound. The researchers explained. These observations have applications in the real world, like reducing noise pollution. Sound, as you might know, is measured in decibels. Sound that reaches 85 decibels or higher can harm a person's ears. Exposure to loud sounds can cause high blood pressure, heart disease, sleep disturbances and stress. And to eliminate sounds, one should know where the sound is coming and how it is produced, the researchers explained. These researchers hope that their study could make aircraft and drone rotors and laptop and vacuum cleaner fans less noisy. Though promising, the study is still preliminary. Nevertheless, the research is something to watch out for. I promise you. And going on to our next story. Would you believe if the sky had started sending signals in the exact shapes of living beings on earth? Would you believe if these signals were radio signals forming the precise shape of a jellyfish? Well, scientists have discovered strange radio emissions coming from a distant galaxy cluster that takes the shape of a gigantic jellyfish. The strange structure is nestled in Abel 2877, a cluster of galaxies which are at a staggering 340 million light years away from Earth. Terence Hoxson, a graduate student at Curtin, discovered the Bizet structure called USS Jellyfish while analyzing data on radio waves. USS stands for Ultra Sleep Spectrum. According to Science News, the USS Jellyfish is about 30 times brighter at 87.5 megahertz, a frequency similar to that of an FM radio station, than at 185.5 megahertz. This cosmic jellyfish is brightest at lowest radio frequencies and can't be detected by most radio telescopes, which are tuned to higher frequencies. You might wonder why this entity is so weird. According to scientists, it could be the result of intergalactic gas-activating electrons released by massive black holes long ago. 
the USS jellyfish is different from other discovered jellyfish galaxies. Although jellyfish galaxies also inhabit galaxy clusters, they are individual galaxies passing through hot gas in a cluster. The hot gas tears the galaxy's gas out of it, creating a wake of tentacles. The much larger USS jellyfish, on the other hand, appears to have formed when intergalactic gas and electrons interacted. The gentle gas wave caused electrons to emit radio waves with the lowest energies and frequencies, giving the USS jellyfish the extreme spectrum it has today. And moving on to our next story. Scientists developed techniques to collect animal DNA from air. Collecting DNA samples from air sounds fictional, right? Not anymore. Scientists at the Queen Mary University of London, led by Dr. Elizabeth Clare, have shown for the first time that environmental DNA can be collected from the air. It's called eDNA, by the way. The study published in the journal PJ showed that air DNA sampling could successfully detect naked mole rat DNA from a room as well as human DNA in the air. This discovery could help researchers gain more insights into the transmission of airborne diseases like COVID-19. In the last few years, environmental eDNA has helped scientists monitor endangered species such as the highly protected great crested newt and species such as the white shark that are difficult to track using conventional methods. As the tool has been further refined, researchers have also started pushing eDNA into new territories, including detecting pathogens in the aquaculture industry, even monitoring terrestrial organisms including mammals. The samples have come from water sources such as lakes or rivers or in rare cases moist soil. To see whether the eDNA could be detected in air, Claire started by designing simple experiments looking for airborne mammalian eDNA in a small 3 meter by 4 meter room housing a colony of 225 naked mole rats. The study shows that in air, just like as in water, animals leave behind invisible but useful traces of themselves that scientists can monitor. This finding could help us survey animal communities in hard-to-reach environments such as caves and burrows. Criminals would have a tough time evading arrest with this discovery. And with that, friends, this is the wrap of this edition of Science Time. Stay with us every Friday at 9 p.m. and keep watching India Science. Namaskar.